All right, Predator fans, I have been waiting over a year, like most of you, for this. Super excited about this. It's one of the few Predator items that I have slated to come to me in 2018, and the biggest, brightest, and best is just around the corner. Super secret, awesome thing heading our way. But for now, we'll have to settle for this magnificent piece. It's time for Sideshow Collectibles Predator Jungle Hunter Maquette Unboxing. Okay, huge box. Only concerns I have with shipping is this right out of the gate, punctured straight through, through the shipper to the art box. Doesn't look like there's a lot of damage. Hopefully not. We got number 108 of 600. Uh, it was an exclusive. In their exclusive, they had a swapped out hand with a spine rip. This thing has got some serious, serious weight. I think it's 27 and a half inches tall. That's a wonderful profile shot with the bio, the Predator in all of its glory, assembly instructions. Again, the packaging looks like it may have separated during shipping or something. Super cool at initial glance and inspection in terms of the unmasked version. The mandibles seem to be intact and in excellent condition. I don't see any problems there. The quills appear to all be there. I like the way that they actually packaged it to help protect him. So during shipping, it looks like they had padding going down the middle of his crown into his forehead and then stopping right by the brow, which then had a space below it for the mandibles to sit. And of course, packaging it this way gave plenty of space for all the quills to not get jammed into anything because you could see that happening. It gets stuck in a piece of styrofoam and it breaks off in shipping. I'm happier with the unmasked than I thought it would be right out of the gate. Is it a Stan Winston, Scott Marshall, Nenny D paint job? No, but you know, I, I can't paint like this, so it's good. The level of detail is fantastic. The folds and wrinkles, the expressions in the brow look perfect. The masked biohelm looks good. I would have thought that the slots in the visor would have had like a metallic or a different appearance, but I don't want to rush to judgment on this. So side base for holding your swap out head, whichever one you don't want. And nice bottom. 99% of everything I've ever gotten from Sideshow, the attention to detail has been spot on in terms of sculpt, protection, packaging, fantastic. Occasionally I've had a couple issues with a paint application or one thing that was damaged, but one. And I've got a lot of things from Sideshow, so I love all the little details like this. This is a nice piece to hold your unmasked head or your masked head, love it. The base, solid weight on the base, beautiful on the bottom. Jungle Hunter, Maquette, 108 of 600, the three dots. Almost would have thought either making this red cliche, it's how the logo is, but perhaps the, the tri-laser should have been in red. But this is a small point for something that you're never going to see. Level detail in the base is solid. Looks like we have a tree branch going somewhere over there. Moment of truth here. Big piece. Real netting. I'm very happy with that. There's two areas that say product inside. Boy, that looks nice. Believe I'm safe to lift by the collar and probably an ankle. Wow. Weight on the body is tremendous. This thing is super heavy. 
which I love. I love a quality piece like this. Of course, I always get nervous when I do an unboxing of something of this size, caliber, and weight. This is huge. Weight is phenomenal. So you've got real fish netting. You've got cloth on the loin cloth area, kind of there in the back. Oh, nice. That's the spine rip. That's awesome. Okay, now we've got a hand. Beautiful detail close-ups on this, of course, coming in. Magnetic as always. I love Sideshow and their magnets. This is absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm really, really happy with what I'm seeing so far. Magnet appears to be a little weaker than I would like here. It's not gonna go anywhere for certain. I just think some of their magnets are super, super crazy strong. This one could be a little stronger. It's not gonna go anywhere. If this is stored like it should be in a case, there's a little movement there. Blades look good. I would have thought maybe the blades could have had more of a chrome, metal, polished kind of look to it, but I'm okay with it. So we've got this tree limb, which I can see where it goes in the base. The amount of, of care that they show with their products in terms of trying to ensure that it gets to the collector without harm is what I come to expect from them. You get that occasional goofy thing does happen. In the area that says product inside, oh, very nice. We have the skull necklace in the back slot. Another piece, which is beautiful. We have our cannon. I've been dying to see this. This looks really cool. To me, this is the perfect way to display the Predator with the swap out hand, with the spine rip. I mean, it, it left great detail on this. Wow. It left an impression. I remember the scene clearly in Predator, how he had pulled the first spine out. My biggest concern, I guess, really, I wish we had a light up effect here and in the biohome. Fantastic. Again, the sculpt on this is really good. Just like this hand, I think the magnet's a little weak, but I reflect back to the, the Alien King and his magnet was super crazy. He would almost grab the head and pull it to the body. So in some ways, based on the frailty of what's going on here, it's probably best that it's not just popping you know, right on with extreme force. We've got our cannon here. There are obviously some magnets and wires. I am concerned about, you know, the wires on this. I definitely am not going to recommend taking this on and off a lot. I think you need to get whatever portrait you want and leave it like that. This looks like it has some delicateness. It's beautiful though. This is definitely something you need to put into a case. This is not something you want just sitting around where things can happen to it. I, I would have preferred a little bit better detailing on the lenses and I think the laser would have really made it. And then you've got your base to hold the spearhead, which it fits beautifully here, but you are gonna wanna take extra special care with your cables. My gosh, this thing is huge. Absolutely magnificent in terms of sheer size. The attention to detail is absolutely crazy, man. I love this thing. I get a little nervous with how frail this piece is. You're not gonna be posing this thing 30 different ways. There's definitely a concern that if you change it too much, you know, that's gonna break. So the cannon by itself, and you have to be careful the way the dreads come together, it fits right up on here. Now there's a little tab, which I'll get a picture of and it fits on the back. Of note, there is a small, small little extra piece and it almost looks like it replaces the one off of the biohelm. Now it does, 
but when I watched the Out of the Box by Sideshow, because it goes in right up here, they actually had this attached when he was in this stasis where he doesn't have the biohome running to it. So this covers up that hole. Just a, an amazing stance. The armor's great. I mean, it's just, I am very, very happy with this. This is a fantastic piece. I, I am exceptionally pleased with this. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. It's great. It really is. There was a couple things when the prototype came out where people were talking about the stance or something was wrong with the knee armor or how he looks. I, I like it. He's relaxed. He's standing there. And of course, I'm going to have him with the spine rip kind of like, here I am. Come get some or, or, you know, looking out over the lambs to the slaughter. All the texturing, real fishnet, little, you know, little leather straps. The few minor points that I have to complain about, really, I mean, I can't paint this. Stan Winston and his crew brought us this amazing thing uh, back in the late 80s, and it was awesome. Loved it, saw it in the theater. You know, now there's a handful of guys on the planet that can put a museum quality piece into your hands. Could there be enhancements on the paint job on this face? Yeah, a little bit, nothing I can do. I like it, it's good. Now I'm gonna display it masked anyway. I knew that when I bought it. Even if this was the perfect paint job, you know, it looks great, but I liked either the mandibles open, aggressive, roaring, or the biohelm. All right, so we've got the spine rip in. The head's coming off. One ugly mother. What the are you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. A face only a mother could love. Even the detailing below. I mean, everything here is just phenomenal. Let's face it, before we saw Predator 2, the City Hunter, or this was it. This was the one who started something, sparked the um, imaginations and started the, the franchise. It was this one. To me, that is it. That is the pose. Look, an art box, it really is. There were some people that had talked about during the original prototype, there was actually a, a spine on, I believe, the belt. I know that the exclusives are no longer available with the spine rip, but you could still get this. You're still going to have the head swap, and there's a lot of talented people out there that I'm fairly certain could probably make a spine rip option for you. Big shout out to good friend, Nanny D, brother, much love. I'm super, super excited to see your review on this. And then of course, I'm looking forward to our little surprise. 
I'm, I'm minusing like two points for the wrist not lighting up and the laser not lighting up. But that's, I mean, really everything that I have that lights up half the time, I don't even have it lit up anyway. So it's a nice feature. I used to have my Darth Maul with the lightsaber on, but when he's not out there, it's not on. If you are any kind of a Predator fan, you would be proud to have this as an addition to your collection. If you ever now or in the future have the means to pick one up, I strongly, strongly recommend it. It definitely earns the gamut of praise from me of being really, really cool. Sideshow, you definitely have hit a home run. And without a doubt, it has earned its place in my rankings to be one of the few and far between that I say truly was worth the wait. So on that note, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. And as Kendra always says, until next time, stay weird. <laughs>